Amen. <laughs> I finally get why your wife almost left you, man. You don't know how to make in-game adjustments. <laughs> you don't know how to make in-game adjustments. Everybody figure your ass out, man. You don't know how to make in-game adjustments, man. And don't nobody really like your, your cap ass. Yeah, you lose. What's going power. on, guys? What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about this video clip that's going viral in regards to former NBA player Josh Smith and his rant, where he basically clowned Doc Rivers for his team losing in game seven. Doc Rivers has had a couple of stops as a, as a coach, right? He's considered to be a very good coach, right? But Josh Smith does not feel that way. So Josh Smith decided to get on social media and clown him. And he even brought up the fact that Doc Rivers almost lost his wife. That Doc Rivers' wife almost left him. Now that that is to me, that is a low blow. You know, I don't condone bringing up you know, someone's wife in a situation. Uh, if you want to keep it to basketball, we can. But the clip was funny nonetheless. Okay, now we're going to get into this article. And we're going to see what they have to say about it. The Philadelphia 76ers have officially been eliminated from the 2020-2021 NBA playoffs. They didn't even get a second to breathe before NBA Twitter started roasting their squad for falling well short of expectation yeah, they had a lot of expectations yes they did they have a very good team very good roster but they come up short uh, add former los angeles clippers for an atlanta Hawks star josh smith to their growing list of haters smith blasted the one-time clippers coach after the 76ers were ousted by the hawks in game seven and uh, here is the video here. I'm going to have a clip at the beginning. I'm not going to play it. You know, there's a lot of words being said here and there. So if y'all want to go check the full clip out, I'll leave I'll leave a link in the description box. Y'all go and check the uh, video out for yourself. Safe to say there's no love lost between the player and coach. Surprisingly, Smith played on the dock for less than one season uh, with the Clippers. He didn't even finish the year with them, getting traded back getting traded back to the Houston Rockets midseason. <clears throat> I think that's where the animosity, I think, comes into play for Josh Smith because Josh Smith was on that team. You know, Doc Rivers comes in there and he wants a team that he wants. You know, he wants, I wouldn't say his guys, but guys that he wants to coach. And JR, uh, Josh Smith wasn't one of them. And Josh Smith ended up being traded. And I think that ever since then, He's felt like Doc Rivers was the reason why he's not in the NBA right now. There was possibly tension between the two, given the fact that Smith only got 14.3 minutes of playing time through 32 games played for the Clippers. Uh, prior to that, he had never had his playing time dip below even 27 minutes per game. Doc's Clippers infamously blew a 3-1 three, three, lead to the very same Rockets the year prior, featuring a heavy dose of Josh Smith in Game 6 and Game 7 of that stunning series loss. Uh, that same postseason, Spectre had followed uh, Doc Rivers from his days in L.A., now haunting him still with the 76ers. Josh Smith couldn't be more happy about it. Yeah, Josh Smith was very happy about it. And this is why I would say, you know, in this situation too, uh, you know, Doc, I think regular season wise, I think any holes that he has in this coaching game can be covered. But when it gets to the playoffs, he does come up short a lot. But you got to understand he is a, he's won a championship before. So because he's won a championship before, he's going to always have leeway, unfortunately, as a coach. Right. And... I think that when you look at the fact that Doc Rivers is very respected, again, he's going to have certain leeways. You know, people are not going to want to see that maybe he doesn't make the adjustments that will help his team be successful. And therefore, 
people like Josh Smith can go in there and he can clown him about it. And honestly, people can say that, you know what, Josh Smith is bitter. We don't know what went on between those two. So if you pull back, you know, talking about his wife leaving him, because we're going to get to that in a second. I just think Josh Smith has never gotten over the fact that he was traded when he didn't want to be traded. And he's felt some type of way ever since then. Now, let's get to Doc Rivers and his and his wife. There was photos that circulated almost two years ago. I didn't make a video on it, but apparently Doc Rivers was out and about with this woman. And that led to some speculation that him and his wife has separated. And Doc Rivers, you never see him with his wife. You never see him out and about with his wife like that. I'm not saying that he has to be out there with his wife. I'm not saying that he has to put his wife out there. But again, he's never with his wife. He's never with her. But he was seen with this young lady. And it caused a bit of a stir, but then it went away. It, it was as if the situation never occurred, right? So you have to ask yourself, is Doc Rivers even with his wife? Because there's a strong possibility that Doc ain't with his wife like that no more. And that he has moved on. He has moved on. And he, but he has a very private either arrangement. Maybe his wife caught him cheating and almost left him, but didn't. Because I don't think, honestly, I'm just being honest. I don't think Doc Rivers' wife is going anywhere. I don't. Doc Rivers' wife is not going anywhere, uh, you know. And, and listen, I'm not trying to go in on her, but I don't know if the attraction is still there for him towards her. Um, but I think that she's comfortable in that situation. And Doc does not want anything to hinder his coaching career. Because Doc Rivers has a reputation that he wants to uphold. As a family man coach, it's a bad look when you be spotted out there with other women. And the fact that Josh Smith is bringing that up just shows that there might be some truth to the rumors that him and his wife had separated or almost separated. But for the sake of his reputation and his coaching career, it did not happen. But that doesn't mean that he still ain't out here doing him. It doesn't mean that he still isn't out there going on dates with allegedly another woman. But it's all about reputation. I think that Josh Smith sees something that other people may not see in regards to Doc Rivers. That he sees a side of Doc Rivers that other people don't. And I think that's why he was so gleeful. That's why I think he was so gleeful when he saw that they had lost. He was so gleeful about it. Because behind the scenes, he's dealt with Doc Rivers before. I don't think Doc Rivers is a bad guy. I just think that he just can't win at the level he did when he had the big three in Boston. Because he had players who were basically coaches on the court. And they were able to help whatever shortcomings he may have had as a coach. But ever since then, he has not been able to find that. And he's had some good teams. But ultimately, I think Josh Smith believes that Doc Rivers does not take accountability for his mistakes as a coach. And he blames everybody else. And he points the finger. And he gets rid of people. Instead of him being able to learn how to be a better coach. Listen, Doc Rivers is who he is. He's setting his ways. There ain't no changing him. I don't think he's going to change anytime soon. This is who he is. So I think that when you look at the situation with Josh Smith, Josh Smith is coming from a, a situation of, I don't like this guy. I think he's a bit fraudulent. His own wife almost left him. He's somebody that to me is not a good coach, but he gets a lot of praise and he does. Doc Rivers do get a lot of praise. He does. But I think Josh Smith is the type of person that just 
he's tired of it. he's tired of seeing doc rivers get a pass listen any other coach and i saw it the philadelphia eagles won a super bowl not too long ago but they still fired their head coach because the organization did not want to hold the gm howie roseman accountable for the fact that he was he and 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 head coach that him and the ownership had a tight rein on that team so doug peterson was a fall guy they did not allow doug peterson to make the adjustments or coach the team the way he wanted to and the front office was never held accountable for how they treated the coaching staff so they say you know what this team is not living up to expectations let's just fire doug peterson because we're the eagles we can hire anybody that happens and i do think that in the media the players are always held accountable but certain coaches will get a pass and i believe that doc rivers has gotten a pass and a pass and a pass of the past but in regards to his wife's situation i don't think his wife has anything to do with it doesn't mean the clip isn't funny doesn't mean the clip doesn't have truth to it but y'all go and check it out for yourself make sure you like this video and share it and let me know what's thing in the comment section below